there you are, welcome back. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm at Stargate Studios Malta, an awesome production company that makes some incredible stuff. And we have an idea. We're gonna produce a new trailer for the channel 3D Printing Nerd. And in order to make all the parts possible, we're using this, the Construct One. It's 210 on X, 260 on Y, and 180 on Z or Z. It has a 0.4 millimeter CHT Volcano nozzle, an E3D copper heat block, a titanium heat brake, and an E3D Hemera extruder. RepRap firmware on a Duet 3D board powers that and a seven inch touchscreen right up front. 17,000 square millimeters per second is the max acceleration. And the volumetric print speed is 40 cubic millimeters per second. Powder coated PEI and smooth PEI are on the same sheet. There is auto bed calibration and mesh bed leveling. The bamboo on the side is rigid and it helps dampen vibrations. Plus parts are sustainably sourced locally where the machine is built in the UK. Now that you know about this machine, you get to see all of the prints it's making for the channel trailer, all of them. Let's get into it. And just like that, the printing is done. Like I said, the Construct One was doing all of the printing for this. And these are all the models that I wanna showcase. These are all printed in Prusament material. And these are iconic to, to me. Like they're, they're personal to me. There's a good reason that I chose these. And I'm gonna show you a couple of them that you're not gonna just remember, but you're gonna be really impressed with how this machine was able to recreate them. First up, this coffee cup. Now this is iconic, not because it's a model that I know and love, but because I run on coffee. And in fact, my drink is an Americano with four shots of espresso, some caramel, and a little bit of cream. And that's represented by this wonderful model of a coffee cup. Look how good this looks. I love the sidewalls here and it was printed at speed. And so I'm really happy with, with how this looks. And I'm really excited to have this as a part of my channel trailer. Next up, 3D Benchy, Creative Tools, Daniel Norey. It brings back all sorts of memories. It's a calibration print, and you know, printed really fast because this is important and it looks great. Look at the sidewalls there. The smokestack looks good. There's no stringing. This is a fantastic Benchy and it's a part of my history. The Mini Joel, the Wexter designed Mini Joel. This just makes me feel warm inside. I love the way that this model represents me as a human. It even has my lazy eye captured, which I'm really thankful for, and my awesome hair. One of the things that's become ubiquitous for quality is the Joel crotch. This mini Joel displays a fantastic mini Joel crotch, and so you know this is of high quality. This is the Joel bot. Now, it's not the full Joel bot because for what we have planned, I didn't need a full Joel bot. I just needed the bust of a Joel bot. And what's most important is that high five hand coming up, giving you a robotic high five. This model is not the easiest to print with FDM. You typically find some print problems underneath the chin, just because of how incredibly tight that overhang is. The Construct One was able to replicate these with no problem. And I really like the way that this model looks. I'm a fan of blue, but red will do. And last, but certainly not least, is the 3D Printing Nerd logo. I made this really quickly in Fusion 360, and this machine produced it incredibly well. And uh, I'm just, you know, I look at this and I shed a little tear just because I'm so happy at what this all represents. The prints are done, let's get to work. In order to make all of that fun happen, I've got Luke from Stargate Studios right here. Luke, what do you do? So I am one of the filmmakers here at Stargate, and I am responsible for the content we produce. And the content you produce includes this tank of water behind me. It does. We have something incredible planned, but I don't know exactly how to do it. We have printed models. Yep. We have water. No fish. Thank goodness. <laughs> no fish will be hurt in the production of this content. <laughs> and we have color coming in from the sides. Yes. How do we do that? Magic. I love that. Is there a practical way to do it? There is. Shall we take a look? I would love to know more. Let's go see that. Are you ready? I am so ready. There's so much here, and I can't wait to find out how to do this. 
So our first ingredient is our aquarium. It's a more of a premium one though. So it's uh, crystal, not normal glass. Mm -hmm. So it's clearer to look through. I get it, okay. That's important for what we're trying to do here. Exactly, exactly. Because we don't want to show it. We're gonna line up the camera in a certain way where you don't see the glass. So then we've got a bunch of uh, memorable items. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, so much. And the idea so is to sink them. Now they are plastic, so that's a problem. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we can take this mini Joel fishing line, this weight, so you can thread that through. Ah, I see. And so he's gonna hang out. Look at that. So we have syringes. I see those. And this is acrylic ink. So before we do that though, we have to make sure the tank is clean. That's why we've got this guy over here. What do you mean by clean? So all these water bubbles, those are gonna mess up our illusion. So oh, wanna... because they are on the glass. They are on the glass. And so the camera would then see the glass. Yeah, exactly. And you can tell that looks better. 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 Yeah. Better. Now, if you look closely at Mini Joel, you're gonna start seeing bubbles. I do see just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. There's air gaps inside. That makes sense. And the air's coming out, so we have bubbles. So the solution to that is we're gonna take the sponge. I'm going to wipe him down. You are wiping I, I am. Mini Joel. Okay. And that gets the bubbles off. Before we get started, you know, this feels really DIY. Like, I know we have a fantastic studio here full yeah. of lights and cameras and crew, but at home, me or someone else out there could acquire a tank like this yes. and print their models and acquire these implements to clear it and the inks to inject, right? Yes, a bit more expensive setup, you get a better result, but yeah, why not? Stargate Studios, a, a, a highly reputable, professional, production company that does all sorts of crazy stuff. And yet, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I love that part. I love that part of it. Like the DIY element still finds its way into the professional space. Yeah, filmmaking is about finding solutions to what you're doing. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. Cool, so, so we're at the point now though where the ink can be injected, right? Yes. Okay, I've got red on my side. Okay, I've got blue. So now this is acrylic ink. Do I, does it need to be shaken? Yeah, you can give it a shake. Really? Okay. <laughs> you want to make sure it's still closed before you do this. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I am going to change it though. Really? Because uh, we've got a blue model. I'll use white instead. Okay, okay. white is fine. I'm opening it up. Now like a third should be enough. So uh, Are you ready? shall we try this? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm really anxious about I've this. I've seen this, have you? No, I haven't. We'll see. Okay. So, on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cool! Whoa! It's like magic, I told you. The white totally enveloped the Joel bot yeah. from, from this side. It's gone. But look at that, the red itself started at the lower part of the mini Joel and sort of worked its way. Wow! And we've that got the piece flag, there you go. Oh, look at that! The way that the uh, the colors are undulating in the water, though, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And just wait till you see what that looks like in camera. Can we do more? Of course, but we have the funnest part now. What's that? Well, we have to clean the tank. Have you used or, or seen 3D printing around the office in a way that really made you go like, wow, like I can't believe that worked or Wow, that was a great solution. This, the areas we're using to the printing is interesting, I guess. So sometimes there are specific camera parts or rigs which we need, and you just really print them. Well, you know, being in, in Malta, an island country, I would imagine if you need something and it either it takes a week, a week to get here yeah. or you can print something that will work right then yes. is extremely valuable, especially in a production environment when time Yes. Is money, right? Exactly. And now we figure out what we're going to throw in next, basically. Ooh, we have so many things to choose from. We do. I think the logo. There it is. Oh, that looks Ooh. so cool. So now we've got this one chosen. This is the logo, but there's a lot of models out there and we get to do them all. all. Every single one of them. Long day. Oh, it's going to be a long, beautiful day, but this is going to be really fun. And actually, you're going to see it in just a second. And I can't wait for you to see it because it's going to be amazing. Uh, Luke. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stargate Studios is wonderful. Um, 
I'd love to offer my audience a high five. Will you be with me? I will do it. Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the things. And as always, high five.